Prior to use, the first check to perform is to confirm the product is with an expiry date. The expiry date can be found on the product box. It can also be found on each individual device on the label above the cap. The first step to prepare the IMAS device is to remove the tamper-proof seal. Next, remove the cap to expose the sampling sponge. Take one bottle of buffer and apply the full volume of buffer to the sampling sponge by squeezing the bottle. This may require more than one squeeze of the bottle. Once the buffer has been added, replace the cap and screw tightly until the device is sealed. The device is now ready for use. When ready to sample in full PPE, remove the cap. For powder samples, dab sample the visible material and then reapply the coloured cap. The device is now ready to run. It can be run immediately or be decontaminated as per your local protocol prior to running. The device can be run by turning the grey knob clockwise until it reaches a stop. The IMAS should then be placed vertically on the coloured cap until it's read time. At the read time, each individual test should be interpreted as per the supplied guide card. For the biothreat assay, the tests are interpreted as follows. Two lines are a positive result. A single line at the control line is a negative result. For the explosive detection IMAS, there are two formats of test. The TRP tests are interpreted as follows. Two lines are negative, a single line is a positive result. For the colour metric tests, the colour squares should be interpreted as per the aid memoir as shown on screen currently.